So you probably already know the fact that to make gumdrops, you need three blueberries, three strawberries, and three pineapples. Pretty easy to remember, right? Well, doesn't that mean that gumdrops are actually the flavor of blueberries, strawberries, and pineapples? Pretty neat, huh? So you probably already know the fact that to make a glue, you need gumdrops and oil jelly. So does that mean that glue contains gumdrops? And, well, who knows if oil jelly is edible? And if it even is, that means can you eat glue in the Beast Swim universe? Because we all know that gumdrops, like, they're candy. They're supposed to be eaten. And if you can eat oil jelly, then that means you can eat the glue. Because it's made up of those two things. Pretty weird. So if you play Bee Storm, you probably know what an instant converter is. You can see it right now on the screen. One of these machines with the little honey droplet on it costs one ticket to use, you know? Well, how does it work? How do you use this thing? Like, we know it instantly converts all your pollen to honey for one ticket, but how? Like, do you put like, do you put your backpack in there? Do you dump the pollen in there? Like, how does this thing work? Uh, how? Gliders. We use them every, almost every playtime we do on Bee Swarm. You know, parachute in the pro bear shop. And the glider inside of the top bear shop. Well, how do they exactly, let's just say, carry you? Say you have the coconut canister. A giant coconut on your back that probably weighs a lot of pounds. How does this tiny, little tiny pee-pee poo-poo piece of, like, leather or something, I don't know, fabric maybe how is this how is this carrying you like shouldn't you just be like falling faster it's pretty weird if you really think about it Anna has said that bees don't eat treats Instead, they throw it back into the fields where they can be found. Well, how about gingerbread bears, bitter berries, star treats, neon berries, or anything else you can think of that aren't treats, strawberries, blueberries, or pineapples? Like, you want to be, like, going at to, like, cactus, and then, boom, star treat. You just find it in a field. And how do the star treats even work for that matter? If they aren't eating it, then... How? And if they are eating it, you would have some pretty chunky bees after feeding one of, like, your tabby bee a star treat to make it gifted. Man, that's weird. So you probably all know the fact that oil jelly dispensers exist. For instance, the one by Calover. I almost said cactus there. But how do they work? If you look closely at a oil jelly, it has a crown. A crown is a solid object. Unless oil jellies are super small and the crown is super small, how are these things coming out of a funnel? Or a tube for that matter. And how are they being stored in some giant hecking container? And there's no crowns or none of the R's. Pretty weird. So if you play B Swim, you probably already know the main currency is honey. 
and some people have over billions of trillions of not quadrillions but you you get what i'm saying how how are we storing all of that honey like where is it like where where do we put all this honey and how how in the world do we have so much honey all i can really say here is that the honey market's gonna be booming This one has been covered a lot of times, and so you, some of you probably know that there's a wind shrine we swim, and you can donate to that wind shrine, and we're guessing that it goes to the Windy Bee. Well, what does the Windy Bee necessarily do with all this stuff? Because some people are donating, like, gifted mythic eggs, mythic eggs, eggs uh, and yada 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 just other crazy stuff like maybe like millions of treats or something i don't know what does the windy bee do with this stuff it's kind of pointless so if you're in the 30 b zone and you have 30 bees you probably know that Onnit is trying to open up some sort of lid, and he has been since the start of the 30B zone update. I don't know which update it is. I think it added, like, star amulets, but that's besides the point. How has he not opened this lid yet? I mean, it's, it's pretty big. I can understand that, but, like, how? It's been over a year at this point. And even if he opens it, what is in the lid? Because if you look under it, you just see a dancing bear. Like, what's under it? Moon charms. You probably know about them. They're the thing that you need to get the moon amulet. You need a hundred of them. And we all know that they're probably from the moon. Because the moon chimes after all, oh, they're, they're moon, moon chimes. And if you look at their crafting recipe, like, I mean, like, it's, well, it's, like, good, but, like, pineapples. Freaking pineapples. Something that probably came from the moon is made using pineapples. Like, they have pineapples on the moon. I don't know what I was gonna do there. But like, why? And those were 10 facts about Bee Storm Simulator. You probably didn't need to know. And some things that we haven't yet answered. So, I hope you liked it. Uh, nothing, nothing else here for you. Uh, thank you for listening to my TED Talk.